at my school, did that for 45 minutes, got cramped, fell over, broke his wrist. That's what happens when you do stupid things. I'm not stupid about it. You look like a bad puppet show. You see, you can't do that with American yeah. football. You know why? It's the wrong shape. Like a rugby ball. Well, yes, there's that. But most importantly, there's no point. It's a silly thing to do. That's why American sports make sense, British ones don't. Here we go again. Now, you see, American football is like two platoons of men in battle. You advance, then you huddle up for tactics. Advance, huddle up for tactics. Retreat, advance, win. You shouldn't eat mints while you're playing. It gives you stomach ache. Tactics, Kev. Not Tic Tacs. Oh. OK, Peter. I think I see what went on here. And I'm really sorry that Karen dumped you. But let's face it. It's your fault. Men who play games with women deserve to lose. Next caller. Hi, Kyla. I've just been dumped and I know it's my fault. Can you help me? Oh, that's a dishy voice. What happened? I found a kiss sitting other guy at a party. How's that your fault? Well, I must have done something wrong. I just left the room to get her birthday present and when I came back... That is absolutely and completely not your fault. She didn't deserve you. You don't think so? Definitely not. You're really sweet, Kyla. Thanks. Well, I think your girlfriend, your ex-girlfriend, is quite mad. You're not a whole lot of fun today, are you? Define fun. Pantomime. Like, to be British, does something have to make no sense at all? Oh. You're homesick. Why don't you go and listen to some Bruce Springsteen? This is what you're supposed to do with a round ball. It's called basketball. Play it all the time in the States. I used to be pretty good. You sound pretty cool, Kyla. Really? What do you think I'm like? As pretty as you are warm and understanding. Oh, yes, you fool, of course. Sorry? Hmm? Uh, nothing. Just wondering, actually, what your name is. I'd rather not say. I don't want to embarrass my ex-girlfriend. I just wanted to talk. You wanted to talk? <sighs> Perfect. He's absolutely... Perfectly understandable caller. I could describe myself, though. Oh, yes. Yes. You could do that, couldn't you? Well, I'm about six foot two, dark hair, green eyes. I've got a leather jacket that I wear a lot, so I'll probably wear that when we meet up. Excuse me? Wouldn't you like to meet? I don't know. Aren't you curious? I am. And we'll have the answer to that question and many more after this. Good show, Kyla. Getting asked out on air. It's amazing. What do I do? You don't know? You go on a date with him, of course. And I want demo tapes of all his brothers. But you've got to live for now. Who are you? And what have you done with Annie? Okay, I know. I'm trying to psych myself up for my show next week. I've promised myself I'm going to play heavy metal, but Mum's going to be listening. And she's going to lock me in my room until I'm 40. I couldn't do it this week. I'm an easy listening coward. Okay, calm down. What's that? <laughs> it's Kyla's man. Kyla, if you want more proof, you should date him. Wait till you see what he looks like. I'm back and we're talking about spur-of-the-moment decisions. Do we still have Mr. Moment on the line? Still here. OK. The answer this week is yes. Excellent. You realise he probably will look like this. <laughs> Three copies of Donna's Greatest Hits and that one Bob Dylan album. So, there were mods and rockers, and then there was the hippie bit, then glam rock, which turned to punk, and that cleaned itself up and went back to being mod. Then, new romantic, and that was all over the place for the 80s, and by the 90s, they ran out of things to do, so they went back to being hippies. Got that? Um, what was the middle bit? Just remember that, musically, we've gone back to how it was 10, 20, and 30 years ago. Oh, right. I thought the groups looked a bit familiar on top of the pops. I've got pictures from the 1960s on my CD-ROM encyclopedia, you see. Good for you. How old are the Rolling Stones? Nobody knows. And how old are you when you started following all this? Nine. I built my first microscope when I was nine. Is there a test afterwards? 
just catching up on a little history. Is it homework? We're going to do a whole show on Britpop. I decided I ought to know what I was talking about when I introduced the song. How fabulous. Of course, modern pop music all comes from American rhythm and blues 50 years ago. Maybe you should set it against a backdrop of its musical roots. <laughs> nah. <laughs> but I tell you what, if everybody else wants to join in on their shows, we could do a whole weekend. <laughs> Was that for or against? I'll do, I suppose. You know, I think it's fine you don't look too good. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Mum. He's worth the effort. He happens to sound very sweet. Has he ever been in prison? Probably not. What do his parents do? I don't know. If they're anything like you, they probably worry themselves silly every time he goes to meet someone in a cafe. You're meeting him in a cafe? You want to date somebody who buys you fried bread and milky tea? How are you going to recognize him? I know. It's as close as we could get. Please stop worrying. I'm your mother. I'm allowed to worry. You're also my program controller. Have you seen the listening figures? No. Notice anything different since I got asked out on air? No, he seems like a very considerate young man who deserves the benefit of the doubt. What are you doing here keeping him waiting? Get to that cafe. And for goodness sake, invite him on to next week's show. What are you doing reading girls' magazines anyway? Thought you were a high rocking chick. This one's not bad. Yeah, my parents think I'm the kind of chick who'd faint at the sound of rock and roll, let alone heavy metal. And this is what those kind of chicks read. It's for the show. You're seeing if Raj loves you or not. I absolutely am not. How's it going? Great. Just got to hear from Kyla now. I hope her guy's not too awful. Didn't you hear him properly? He's adorable. No one's that sweet. Siobhan, that's not what you were saying on Saturday. Hasn't any of it bothered you? I mean, in two minutes, he went from Lonely of London to Mr. Love of Love Town. I just don't buy it, Annie. Even Kyla doesn't meet people like that. OK, so it's tradition. I don't know who this guy is. It doesn't matter. It's what we do when we score a goal. We run down at the corner flag and do the chicken thing. I just don't see the problem with celebrating your goal in my own way. Why did you pat it? me on the bottom. It's perfectly acceptable. In America, I know. I hope so. I really do. Hmm. You in the lottery or something? I could say that. He is gorgeous. Gorgeousness itself. His name's Russell and he's fabulous. We're going out again the day after tomorrow. <laughs> I'm not gonna sleep. He's really that great. What? I'm just curious. Don't get cross. I mean, he's actually perfect. There's no chance he's hiding something. Siobhan, you haven't even met him. Thanks. What's wrong with you, anyway? So, I've got one question. Uh-huh. When do we get to meet him? Ah, uh, Stephen, Kathy's just agreed to the Britpot weekend. Kathy has. She was my last hope. We're putting a playlist together now. Do you want help, Stephen? You know, as a sort of late arrival to British music, you might have a slant on things we don't. If you've got any favourites, come out us look. No, I... We've got an excellent publicity stunt. Let me guess. You're going to paint the station with a huge Union Jack flag. <laughs> Though I think Kathy was just being polite about that one. But she thought we could do the Yorkshire pudding thing. Making the station look like an enormous Yorkshire pudding? No. Handing it out free to all the visitors. <laughs> Great. I'll do the gravy. Have you ever wondered about how many tons of coffee dregs there must be out there? And used tea bags? Not until now, no. We talk about this sort of thing all the time. It keeps us sharp for the radio. Hey. This is Russell. Nice to meet you. It certainly is. Russell McGann, isn't it? That's right. Where'd you know me from, then? I don't know you. I've just heard of you. Interesting. Isn't it? Could you get me a coat from the machine in the corridor? Absolutely. It's out and left, then left again. So? No complaints from me. I'm waiting to hear Siobhan's. I have just one small one. 
He's guaranteed to be two time in your Siobhan, you can't say that about someone from just meeting them. I'm sorry, Kyla, but Russell McGowan went out with someone who was friends with one of my friends, and she found out he was dating several other girls at the same time. Oh well, if you've practically got it on film, then he must be guilty. A friend of a friend of a friend. Can't you do any better than that? I'm just telling you what happened. No, you're telling me a little fantasy cut tub because he fancies me rather than you. You should wear green more often. It suits you. I'm going to go and introduce him to the boys, see what they can find wrong with him. Green with envy, Annie? She was being sarcastic. What about you? I was being right on the money. It doesn't matter how good looking he is or how tall. He wasn't lying about his eyes, was he? They were quite something. He'd look straight through you. Siobhan? Hmm? You sound like you're starting his fan club. Don't be silly. He's a terrible person and we must save our friend from him. Oh, if you say so. It just seems like such a waste. All right, Steve. What do you think? A little too subtle, guys. We're asking everyone to do a trailer for the weekend. You know, why British is best. Music, food, sport, that kind of thing. What can you do it for us? Just uh, 20 seconds or something? Do a trailer for you. A trailer to celebrate your sport, music and food. This is British food we're talking about, right? Well, I suppose the cooked potato is a fascinating thing. Roast potatoes, of course, are a fascinating dish and quite different to the average bag of chips. Roast potatoes come in larger pieces, and that's a subtle difference for the true connoisseur. What else is there we should be waving the flag about? Lukewarm milky tea, bacon sandwiches dripping with grease, jellied eels. Oh, I could do a whole show on those alone. Wimbledon, come on, guys, it rains 900 days a year here. And you think you can get two weeks in a row without a drop? What's next? Television. Soap operas, a half hour about people with interesting accents shouting at each other. And that leaves Britpop. 25 bands frozen in time in 1967 all brought back to life sounding exactly the same. Congratulations. Well, let me know if I've missed anything out. I wouldn't want to run out of things to celebrate. No, no. I think you've got it all. What's up with him? I don't know. But something tells me he's not entirely happy. Have you got two minutes, Mum? I just wanted you to meet Russell. Oh, right. You're Russell. Well, you certainly have the station buzzing. This is my mum, Kathy Kane. Very pleased to meet you. Oh, there's that voice. Is that your Jeep parked outside? It's a beauty. Uh, no, that's Tony's. He's just traded his Range Rover for it, so he'll have something new to talk about on air. Very stylish. I like your shows. But can I say, I think what you do is what radio's all about. Well... I can't think of a better introduction to the world of radio this side of the antenna than you sitting in on Kyla's show this Saturday. Are you sure, Mum? That's the agony I'm feeling. What about an agony uncle? It's a bit sudden. Think of the ratings, honey. What do you say? If Kyla doesn't mind, I'd hate to impose. Mum's right. It's a great idea. So, that's settled then. See you Saturday. What? You're introducing a boyfriend to me? And? <laughs> what? Is this the little girl whose hair I used to put in pigtails? Uh... Come on, man. Oh, yes. I need your male opinion, Russell. You mean Radio Romeo, Russell? You interested? I just want to know what you think of him. It's cool. Excellent. He's a nice, nice guy. guy. Yeah, nice guy. Yeah, definitely. Nice. <gasps> Wicked. Fancies him. And today we have our very own agony uncle on matters of the heart, Russell McGann. Lines are open and they're already flashing. Hello to our first caller. Do you have a question for Russell? Uh, my name is Malcolm. Hello, Malcolm. Uh, I wanted to ask you, Russell, whether you think it's right for me to date two girls at the same time. Uh, two girls want to go out with me, uh, you see, and uh, I like them both. Very simple. No girl with any self-respect would date you if she knew you were seeing someone else. And if you didn't tell them, you'd be a dishonest sneak. If you like her, 
go out with the first girl that asked you and be happy. Thank you for calling, Malcolm. I hope that helped. Hello to our next caller. You're through to Dr. McGann. He's very good. That was way too easy for him. You've got to give him tough questions. Kyla's got to see what this guy's really like. My turn. This'll get him. Line three, you're on. Hello, Russell. If you're so perfect, I'd like to know your tips on making good custard. Surely no self-respecting girl would date a boy who doesn't know his custard. Uh, this isn't really a matter of the heart. Well, it matters to me. I stick to two rules. Never stop stirring once you've added the milk and put cling film over the bowl. Then you won't get skin. He is good. What about the moons of Jupiter? He'll never get them. That's not what I meant by difficult questions. I'm gonna have to take drastic measures, aren't I? She's mad on him. Okay. Well, this may remind you all of how things used to be on my show. Um, I'm going to be quite loud now. Well, Mum, I don't want you to worry about it. I'm not in any pain. It's just kind of how my favourite music sounds. Okay, then. It sounds a lot like this! <laughs> Have you got a minute? Sure. Excellent. There are some people in reception want to say hi. Can't you say you're busy? You have to have time for your fans, Russell. You know the Shooting Stars Cafe? I'll be there at seven. You will? Yes. And you will too? I know I'm supposed to be Kyla's friend. Does that bother you? No. Anyway, you won't need her and all the other ones you're seeing once you've got me. Other ones? It's okay. Your secret's safe with me. Come on, there's no one out there. This girl is clearly mad. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's great. Exactly what we wanted. Yeah, that's, that's fine, thanks. Uh, gotta go, thanks, bye. How's it going? Yeah, okay. Sorry I haven't been around much lately. I'm kind of homesick and I'm no fun for anyone. Don't worry about it. Well, I was kind of weird with Matt and Boz as well, so I just wanted to say something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this is really bad timing. About the football team. Sorry, Steve. I, I don't think you should play in the next game. You're dropping me from a kick around in the park. Now, the lowest point of my expatriate life. Are you nuts? It's, it's a kick around in the park. I know, I'm, I'm sorry. You start taking things this seriously, you're gonna wind up a perfectionist with no friends. Why are you people so uptight? Oh, hello, you two. Been anywhere nice? Boz, you should play pool with this guy. He's amazing. Yes, I tried to master billiards a few years ago, but I was nearly two feet shorter than the queue. I suppose I should play again now I'm longer. Good for you. And Russell's the man to teach you. Have you two been on a date? I thought you were seeing Kyla. That's old news. Excuse me a second. You won't say anything, will you? Is that a no? Anyone else depressed? Do you think it's the weather? If you wanted to use that as an excuse, it's good all year round. What are you doing, apart from depressing me? Well, Kev rang. Dragged me all the way in here, told me to bring my records, and he's not even here. So what's happening with you guys? Ask Russell. I couldn't possibly comment. You're a complex little guy, aren't you? Stephen! Kev wants you. He's at the station. Said he's ready to record your trailer? If he'd said the station in the first place, probably wants me to iron his soccer shirts. Hi. You should have said you were going to be here. I could have come along. Uh... I thought you were busy. Oh, hello. Didn't expect to see you, but I suppose it's good that you're here. Have you told her? Told her? Uh... Told me what? Well, uh... 
Russell and I are seeing each other now. Is that the time where... I... Just wait a second. Oh no, do not put me in the middle of this. Just tell Carla who Russell went on his second date with today. You. You did what? You can tell her. No secrets between us. Second date? I was going to tell you. So the two-timing thing Siobhan was going... Three-timing. It was three a lot. Oh, I don't bother leaving the house unless I've got three dates. As of now, Russell, which of us are you seeing? I really like Siobhan. Wait a second. Get out no. of my way. Just wait a second. So, Russell, we're definitely going out. Yeah. Just you and me. Yeah. Wonderful. That means I can officially dump you. Goodbye, Russell. The only way I got with a multi-timing toad like you is if it meant I could get you out of my friend's life. So I had to date you, and now I have to dump you because you're a multi-timing toad. Goodbye, Russell. I'm not going anywhere until one of you goes out with me. <laughs> Oh dear, a banana galaxy double froth top in the lap. That cannot feel good. <laughs> Thanks. <clears throat> it's okay. Not on weird, I know. But I didn't think you'd believe me unless I did something drastic. I'm sorry he wasn't the one. Ah, there's plenty of time. He's out there somewhere. Just pretend I'm not here. Friends. Hi, it's me. Could you tell by the accent? No, no. Guys, can we get some light in here? I can't see what I'm doing. Sure, Steve. Just a minute. What the? Hello? Yeah, well, who do we got? Is it Steven? Steven. Yeah, who's this? Yeah, hey, it's Mancal, KSMC, San Francisco. San Francisco? That's my hometown. Hey, listen, man, that, that's why we're here. Um, your boss, uh, is it Kevin? Kevin set it up. <laughs> my boss. Yeah, man, you're our guest DJ for the next hour, and I hope you got plenty to say. I've always got plenty to say. This is fantastic, Mancal. I, I can't believe it. Well, you're about to go on the air. Believe it, buddy. Hey, listen, we got the, uh, the phone links set up. You can take calls, do whatever you want, the works. And you're on. Are we ready? Here we go in five, four, three, two. Good morning, America! Hi, guys. Whoa, what happened to you? I'm just naturally happy. That's exactly how I describe you. What have you done? I've had reviews of my show from everyone in my family. Mum sent a tape round, and it took a while, but the word on the street is... They don't mind. Now there's a good review. I can be as loud as I like, and they think it's good for me to express myself. Yeah, that's great. <sighs> Have a bun. We're enjoying the great British lunch. Nothing like it in the world. You're not going to let this drop, are you? Not as long as I find it funny. Typical guy. Oh, please. Do describe me like every other male on Earth. I'm not homesick anymore. I'm just developing a colossal mediocrity complex. I think we all know what the real average guy is like. Yes, where is Russell? Maybe we should give him a call. <laughs> Kev, I just wanted to say thanks. It was great. For a whole hour, I felt like I was actually back home. It was fantastic. <laughs> All right, Steve, don't go over the top. I'm up tight, remember? I don't do hugs. You're missing out. I was a three to four hugs a day man back home. Mm, you uh, will let me know if your family ever comes to visit the station. Weekend off the next. Sounds of America. What do you think? Milkshakes all round? That was a really sweet thing to do. All that planning. Mm, I haven't seen him this happy for ages. Good work, Kevin. Yeah, the thing is, how do I stop him from playing football next week? <laughs>